Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for Taurus for February. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. We're just going to get one of these cards and see what comes up. What do we have for Taurus for the month of February? Patience. Patience. So apparently you're going to need to be patient for something. And maybe you've been patiently waiting for something. Um, whatever is happening, patience is needed. Let's just take a look at the book here. Patience. You must develop patience in all areas of your life. Patience does not mean that you give up and do nothing. On the contrary, you need to be aware of several aspects of the circumstance that you are facing. Patience requires you to stop pushing, rushing, and creating potentially explosive situations. Instead, it asks you to see the bigger picture and become aware of the ingredients that might be missing. If you are impatient with a particular person, instead, give them space. Avoid jumping into conclusions and making up dramatic stories about a person or a situation without being aware of all the details. You have the opportunity to let go of judgment. Always look for the truth of the situation, not what someone is saying or doing, but why. Patients can also be connected to a health condition you are recovering from, a new diet or an exercise program you have embarked on, or a new course of study you have begun. Be patient for the results. Results do not happen overnight. Now that is a very good message right there. Patience is needed. Give it time. Two cards for Taurus, please. Two cards. There's, there's two. Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be very important, very interesting. A meeting with a stranger. Hmm. Very, very, very interesting. And this happens to be a handshake. So, somebody that you shake hands with. Maybe you've been waiting all your life for this person. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, there's going to be a significant meeting that is of importance this month. It's probably going to change your life. What do we have for Taurus for the month of February? Patience. Ha! <laughs> The temperance card. Interesting. Obviously, you guys are going through a major change in your life. You have been through something big because before this is the death card. So you've been through a transformation of some sort. You've experienced a profound change. And now it's time to um, adapt to the changing circumstances. So you're probably needing to adapt. You're going through a, an, an evolutionary period. Um, and you are going to be, need to be patient with the changes that are happening. Interesting, because I'm telling you what, it's basically the same thing. Moderation. Um, everything happens for a reason. You may be taking a new journey. The Hermit. That's what your challenge is. Your challenge is uh, giving it time, uh, growth, listening, um, listening to yourself, uh, taking your own advice, um, not isolating yourself. Perhaps you you are you're 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 becoming a new you. Okay, you're becoming a new you. And that's going to take some time, okay? So you may need to be alone. or you, yeah, I think that's what this is. You, you're, since you're going through this change, you're probably going to need to do this on your own time. You're going to need to do this alone. Um, 
I think it's time to completely go within. And that might be hard for you. You may have a lot of responsibilities that are, you know, causing you to neglect yourself. We'll zoom this in here in a minute. Wheel of Fortune reversed below you. In the past, the Two of Pentacles. Oh, above you, the Devil reversed. In the future, the Ten of Cups. You know, you're being what you're being called to do is walk away from anything that doesn't serve you. Even if it's it could be an addiction even. Anything that doesn't serve you, you need to leave behind you something that isn't fulfilling you emotionally. You can't stay there. You can't pretend that it's okay if it doesn't make you happy, leave it behind. Put this right here. Ooh, ooh, the outcome, the King of Cups reversed. So your overall energy is the Four of of Wands reversed. So I feel like you you may be uh, cleaning up a big mess this month. Maybe you've been in, in a situation that didn't turn out the way that you had hoped. Um, there's you, you may feel like there's nothing to celebrate. Maybe you you were part of some sort of group or part of some sort of situation that is no more. You know, it didn't it didn't uh, turn out the way that you had hoped. This could be a re this could be a breakup. This is a split. This is a separation. It could be a separation within the family. It could be a family member that has left. Um, there could be disagreements. Whatever it is, it's a messy situation that needs cleaning up. And maybe it's within yourself. Maybe you have overindulged. It feels like there could be some overindulgence here. Um, the overall energy is unhappiness. Okay, so you need to work on restoring that happiness within you. And it's going to take time. So give yourself time. Be patient and be patient and wait for the results. So I think the challenge is discovering who you are. That's the challenge. And giving yourself the time and the space to rediscover. It's not easy. It's not easy. And it doesn't happen overnight. It's not easy to um let go of things that you use let go of the old you, put it that way. In the past, I think that you have uh, been juggling. You Things have been a little chaotic. You've probably had a lot of demands placed upon you. You've been trying to adapt. You've been trying to be flexible. And you've needed to be flexible. And you may have missed some things. You may have... Um, been trying to juggle so much that you missed a few opportunities or you didn't take some opportunities that you should have taken. It feels like um, you're, you're, you may be juggling life right now. You feel like you're juggling life. I feel like um, now you're in a state where you're, you're needing to align. You're needing to let definitely let go of things that no longer serve you so that you can have more balance. You're probably... You, you've been really struggling to find balance by the looks of things, and you needed to be flexible. Um, your income has probably been, you know, in and out, in and out, in and out, but you've been maintaining, right? You've been maintaining stability. Um, in the future, you're, you're, it looks like you're gonna, you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be really, really, really happy. Um, right now you are letting go of bad habits. You're working on, um, recovering. You're working on remaining in control. You're, you're letting go of addictions. You're conquering addictions. You're working on that. You're, you're letting go of toxins in your body, in yourself. It's like you are finding that strength to regain control of this unhealthy situation. I think that you have been in an unhealthy situation and now you're regaining control. Right now, that's where you're at. It's about out dealing with things that really don't serve you and that includes 
any sort of addiction could be food could be smoking could be drugs could be drinking could be spending money whatever it is it's this is being in control it's it's letting go of those demons so, so i think that's what you're doing right now and it's it's not easy to change so you're going through some profound changes in your life and adapting to these changes isn't easy so this is a month of adapting and bringing balance back to your life and doing what's right for you in the below you what you can't see the wheel of fortune there could be a setback this is the wheel of fortune reverse this could be a loss it could be a horrendous loss an unpredictable loss and and maybe you don't even see it if you don't deal with these habits you could have this loss it, and it could be a big one this is bad luck um this is bad karma um this is negative, repetitive patterns that you keep repeating. You have to find your strength at some point in your life to deal with these things. So I think uh, below the surface, you you know maybe even subconsciously you keep repeating. You're going to have to find your mental strength, okay? Your mental ability to overcome these bad habits, these bad things in your life. So I think this month your focus is on that. It's focus your focus is on healing your focus is on um you this month by the looks of things but i think it's a challenge because you have so many demands you have so much to do you might have so many people family members whatever to take care of and so you're challenged to put yourself first but i think this month you're really going to need to do so um my advice is is, is if it doesn't serve you you need to you need to leave it behind and go within. You know this 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 guy is going into hermit mode. Okay, it's time to reflect. It's time to reflect on who you want to be, who you want to be now, who you want to be in five years from now. Do you still want to be here? Because we have somebody that has some really unhealthy habits that absolutely needs to be dealt with. Now, this this could also represent the sign of Capricorn. Now, that is what is above you. What is what's happening right now? You could be dealing with a Capricorn that needs your help. I don't know. But that devil reverse is regaining control before a disaster strikes. Okay, with these mirroring each other, if you don't regain control or if you don't gain control of this toxic situation, there seriously could be a big loss. There, it could lead to disaster. It could. I just, I, I mean, I have, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but the devil reverse can definitely be a disaster. Could even lead to death. Addictions that could lead to death. You must free yourself from whatever this is. So this is breaking free from things right now. That's what you are doing. You're breaking free from things that are unhealthy from you, for you. In the near future, we have the Ten of Cups. That's happiness. That's a happy relationship. That is ha that's fulfillment. It's something permanent. This is, you know, the end of the storm. It's a spiritual blessing in the future. It's peace and harmony and happiness in your future. But you're, the only way you're going to get this happiness is to let go of this unhealthy situation that has such power over you, has such control over you. So anyway, um, so I think that this month, right off the bat, you are going to need to take time to release this toxic situation and it's not going to be easy this is definitely a profound change and i think that you're ready to accept this you're ready to accept that you know it's not going to be easy but i'm going to do it it's like finding the willpower to do it and you're doing this to create harmony in your life for, for the future for a better future Here in your external influence, your external others, it feels like, you know, you may have somebody that 
is giving you advice, somebody that can give you some sound advice. This could be a professional. This could be a doctor. This could be somebody. This could be a somebody in a in the professional field that has some really good advice for you. This person has some uh, is very knowledgeable. This person is educated, and they probably have some sort of. Uh, information that can help you to succeed so you're probably going to come across this person this could be the person that you have the handshake with okay it could be with this person as well so you could have this handshake with a capricorn a pisces cancer scorpio a libra gemini aquarius even i don't think it's this person though i think this isn't your whole this is not a person i think this is an energy but anyway i think i think the advice this is the person that is going to help you somebody that is very knowledgeable this is a professional that can give you professional advice to help you conquer whatever this is that maybe this is your this could be a nurse this is somebody who is very dietitian it's somebody that is very knowledgeable that is going to help you to be successful Okay, so this you're probably going to come across this person on your journey, your journey to success. So uh, whenever when you do run into this person, really listen to what they have to say, because this person has the information that is going to help you bring happiness into your life up here in your hopes and fears. <clears throat> this is somebody that is very pessimistic pessimistic this is Debbie this is your Debbie Downer does it see things in a negative light you're gonna have to think positive you're going to have to um, be open to new ideas be open to do new things to try new things and and be optimistic rather than pessimistic um, stop procrastinating you know, you maybe you're a procrastinator and you keep procrastinating, procrastinating, procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. You know, whoever, who, who, whoever. Now, this is not good news. This is somebody who sees everything in a negative light. Maybe, maybe you use that for. This is somebody who makes excuses. So, you know, I feel like you, 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 if you think a negative, if you, if your thoughts become things, I think that you, you think that you won't be successful. You won't be successful. If you think you can't do it, you won't, you can't do it. I think that a lot of you are thinking negatively. And if you could change your thoughts, you know, and be patient, okay, because this is lack of patience as well. Wanting it right now. Things don't happen overnight. It's going to take effort. You can't lose your focus. And maybe maybe you're like, oh, I won't be able to follow through. Well, don't think like that. Think differently. If you, if you give yourself that self-talk that says, I can do this, I will do this, then you will do this. So I think you guys are in a really unhappy situation. It could even be an unhappy relationship with somebody that is controlling you. And you're wanting to take back control of your life. But that may mean that you have to be by yourself. Maybe you have to do it alone. So for some of you, there's, there's fear here of doing it alone. But I think that, you know, for some of you, you are with somebody that is not well suited for you. They're mean. And they put you down for some of you and you're dreaming of happily ever after right well happily ever after is in the future but you're gonna have to take ownership of this situation for some of you you are dealing with an individual who is cold and withdrawn and doesn't have good intentions this could be a man that is uh cold-hearted uh doesn't know what love is they may use emotional blackmail as a tool and they just put you down so maybe that's the person that you need to walk away from. So I feel like this month you are going to be walking away from somebody that is unhealthy or it's a, or it's a habit. It's it's just an unhealthy situation. I feel like you are going to be walking away and it is a it's a it is a loss. It's a loss of who you were. Okay, you're not that person anymore. I see you you know, for some of you, you have probably been pretending to that you were happy in a situation or you had some sort of uh, false happiness with some sort of addiction. It may have been gratify, gratifying for a minute, but 
you know, when it gets over, when it's done, it's done. It's it's not hap there's no happiness here anymore. Anyway, I feel like you guys are are taking back control of your life. You're taking back control of a situation. You're breaking free from a toxic situation, and I think that it's it's scary. And I think that it's it's it, there's fear of growing old alone. There's fear of doing it alone. There's fear of being alone again. But you know, whatever it is that you're engaged in isn't healthy. So. I think we have somebody here that is going to get some professional advice from somebody that is going to help them to move out of this toxic situation and into something better. Um, somebody could be moving out of their home this month. They're moving to a better place, or you know, they're leaving, leaving, you know, they're they're leaving behind a toxic. They're getting rid of a toxic substance in their life, whatever this addiction is. It's very toxic. It's unhealthy. It's, it's killing them and it needs to go. So I think the overall outcome is, is shutting down your emotions for something that isn't good for you because you know that you deserve something better. You know that you deserve extreme happiness. You know that you want more. You know that you want to be healthy. So, Taurus, I feel like this month you are leaving behind. You're leaving. You're saying goodbye to something that doesn't serve you. And you're, you are doing it in a authentic manner. And you're doing it because somebody has given you some good, sound advice that you just can't ignore. It's like, you know whatever this person is saying is the truth, right? You know it's the truth. You can't ignore it. Whoever you are dealing with is a Debbie Downer. They're mean, they're cold, they're toxic, they're unhealthy. And if it's not a person, it's a habit. It has to go. I think you've been trying to be flexible. You've been trying to hold on. You've been trying to make this work, but it's it's just not working. It's not. It's just not meant to be. You're not meant to be part of this toxic situation. So I feel like um, this month you are going through. You are going to be going through a a huge change. It's it's a big change, and you're ready to accept it, and you're re re ready to do whatever you have to do to bring harmony. Because this is about bringing harmony to your life, and if that means doing it alone. That means doing it alone. So I see you recreating harmony by leaving something behind that doesn't serve you. And it's something big. It's something toxic. Something that, you know, it kept you, It was you were like a slave to this. It's like you were just, you were the slave. This is like, no, I am no longer going to be slave. Let's get one more card for right here. Let's clarify that what's coming in the future for Taurus. What's coming in the future? The King of Swords. <laughs> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now this is somebody that um, is very intelligent. This is somebody that... Uh, intelligent, intellectual, smart, uh, wise, protective. This is a protector. This is somebody that is not given to emotion, but they're real. This is somebody that is real. This is somebody that uh, knows what they want. Very decisive. Doesn't play games. So that is who you are going to connect with in the future. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this person is going to make you very, very happy. This person is honest. This person is truthful. They may seem a little cold. It, but it's because they're it's because they're not fake. Okay, this is somebody that is very very real that is coming in your future. Um, this person will protect you, but you have to know your value and you not have to know your worth and you have to be in a healthy state of mind before you can uh, be ready to be with this person. You know, it's a soulmate connection. It is. It is definitely a soulmate connection. You have a soulmate that is coming into your life in the future. But you have to find your strength to bring balance to your life right now. And there is something toxic that you need to get rid of. So that is the focus this month. Good luck. 
So this is your future. Happily ever after with somebody that is honest and truthful and smart and protective. This person won't let anybody hurt you. Good luck.